I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day Cashing in my dreams, big payout Underneath my money tree, big say Hey Freakin' Flies, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are packing for training. I actually leave in less than four hours. <laughs> um, push it into the max to pack for training, but I am off to my second training of my flight attendant career the last time we did this you know it was back in 2019 so i figured why not you know film another video take advantage of the opportunity refresh i've been in the industry i've lived a little bit i you know i'm doing it a little bit differently you know i'm not as green i'm off the training for six weeks two-thirds of it will be in new york city and one third of it will actually be in europe so let's hop into this video I'm going to give you an overview of everything that I'm packing. I'm taking two suitcases. I'm taking my larger, um, I think it's like a 25 inch uh, suitcase. And then I'm taking my normal carry on size suitcase as well as my um, tote bag. So all of this stuff needs to fit in there. No more than these two suitcases. That's it. That's all. All right, so let's start on this side of things. So I have my planner. Y'all know I'm a paper planner type person. And so I have my planner that will be going with me. I have all of my documentation and paperwork. I don't want to open it because the airline name is in there, but things that we've already had access to. I have printed copies as well as digital copies. I have a notebook for note taking. I am a handwritten notes kind of person. Those are colorful pens for note taking, sticky notes. And in here, I just have pens, pencils, and a highlighter. My current read, I am finishing up the 12 week year. I have been shredding through this book, absolutely love it. And my good friend Kim just gifted me with this book. I literally got it yesterday. And so I'm bringing that along. There might be some ways to, you know, mesh and bridge the two. I have my MacBook as well as my tablet. All right, over in this area, this is a bunch of stuff that's pretty much in the tote bag, wallet and passport. Very important for flight attendants, AirPods watch um portable battery pack obviously my cell phone is coming it's across the room somewhere i have my badge holder mainly because it still has my um airman certificate in it from my first airline and so we're just gonna drop the new badge right in there just some other little toiletry items manicure kit gotta keep your travel wipes because we are in a post pandemic can we say that now is it post pandemic either way and we stay with the sanitizer also taking a box of emergency that i can take periodically to just keep my immune system boosted in addition to making sure i'm getting enough rest getting sick during training is not an option like you don't want to get sick and you don't want to get injured i just have a basic little first aid kit that i always keep with me when i travel my bluetooth speaker this is my <laughs> Amazon Fire Stick because I will plug it up anywhere and everywhere. This is just a pair of basic little headphones. Like if I'm editing on a flight and I don't want to use my AirPods, um, I can just plug these up. This is a portable iron and steamer. I mostly use it for the steaming action, but it is a full-blown little portable iron because those are not available everywhere. Converter, going to Europe, lint roller, and this is all the cords for all of the gadgets that you've seen thus far. It's in this little holder, which I will link as much as I can link down in the description box for different things that I've used or I have to show. But yeah, I love this organizer. I've had it for years at this point, but it literally has all of the cables and the blocks, editing stuff, and then like chargers. I'm taking this short little power strip. I absolutely love this thing. The availability of power outlets and like getting to them is always in question. So I just like to always have the extra power with me and then my tripod to film some TikToks. Here in the middle section, I have all of my jewelry and accessories. These are glasses, I'm taking two bags. I have this one all the time, especially when I take my camera out in public. And then this is my multi-use uh, like shopping tote bag. I think I got this from Ikea. I have two toiletry bags. I'm not going through these, but literally one is just like all toiletry items. And then the other one is like cosmetics like skincare. I have a mixture of full size of everything and I also have like not the travel size but like the the smallest size after the travel size if that makes sense like this one. It's not the travel size but it's also not the big one but 
we'll see. And again, if I need more along the way, I can just order it or I can go out and buy it. Towels and washcloths. You can never have enough washcloths in life. I have my rain jacket that it's really lightweight, really small, as well as my small umbrella. And then this is all of my outerwear. Well, this is more like a shirt, but we're going to call it outerwear. It's like a little jacket. And this one, a denim jacket, and then my heavier thick coat. Because it is like 40 degrees and rainy in Europe. On this side, I am taking a variety of pants. I don't think I mentioned this, but the attire for training is business casual. So that works in my favor. Also, it kind of works against me because when you have to wear the penguin suit, you know, you get really used to, I only need like, you know, two or three pair of black pants and a variety of white shirts, but that's not the case when you can dress yourself. So I have a couple of um, dress pants, khakis, then I have a variety of jeans that I'm taking. I wanna just be taking a bunch of button ups and uh, polo shirts, as well as a variety of sweaters. On this side of things, I just have a bunch of different like, Potential going out, fool la la, I need to put on clothes, and then a bunch of t-shirts that I'll just be taking to lounge around after class. I got tank tops and other things, and then you, obviously, you know, underclothes and socks. Lastly is shoes. I have black dress shoes, brown dress shoes, and then black sneakers, white sneakers, neutral sneakers, and my slides. That's it, that's all. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff packed up into this large collection of packing cubes and shoe bags, get them all into the suitcases, and we will be getting ready to wrap up and get out the door. One of the things I know about myself in terms of packing, you don't actually use everything you think you use. So I've been a lot more mindful about consolidating condensing, although it might not look like it. Compared to what I took the first go round, this, this is real light. bringing like two and a half three weeks worth of stuff that I will just repeat twice or thrice if that makes sense instead of trying to be like oh I need six weeks worth of stuff I need you know four suitcases no no you don't let's be real we're here to get our wings should I have the opportunity to fool a lot along the way fine if not no big deal there will be plenty of time to fool a lot post graduation <laughs> beginning of spring but the weather in both places is not giving what is giving right here in Miami Florida so I'm awful mindful of that so I have a variety of clothes that can be um, I would say layered up or layered down is that a thing so, <laughs> depending on what the weather is giving because I'm starting at the end of March and when I finish it will be the beginning of May a short time but a large enough span that the weather can you know, change really drastically. Beyond that point, Amazon is a thing. I have a roommate who has access to all of my things. I have family back in Virginia who has access to more of my things. So if I need something along the way, it can be sent to me or we can go shopping. Just like that, we are packed up and ready to go. I'm about to 
get dressed, get myself ready for the flight, do one more once over loop around here, make sure I'm not forgetting anything, and uh, we'll be on our way to the airport. Lord,